Hey everyone, Joel Answer. Today we are at Alpharetta, Georgia, basically Atlanta area at Screaming Nuts. Screaming Nuts! Are you screaming nuts? I'm Dan Screaming Nuts. To do their freaking ice cream and donut challenge. Hell right. So I first saw this challenge back with like Randy Santel and Matt Hazard, both great friends of mine. They did this challenge and I saw this and I was like, I need that in my life. It's a big like 13 donuts, 13 massive delicious looking donuts, 13 scoops of ice cream. Yes, I love dessert, I love donuts, I like ice cream, so like, it's perfect. But I guess I'm skipping like the meal today and going straight to dessert. But anyway, so yeah, we're gonna have 30 minutes to eat what is supposed to be about eight to eight and a half pounds of donuts and ice cream. 13 massive donuts, 13 scoops of ice cream. So let's head on in, have some fun. There's lots of different flavors. I don't know if there's a record, I don't care. Whatever it is, I'm gonna enjoy these things, enjoy my time, and let's have some fun, eat some great food here in Alpharetta, Georgia, eating donuts, Hell right. Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank the sponsor of this video being Surfshark VPN. That is right, Surfshark VPN keeping you safe on the internet like it has been keeping me safe on the internet for so long now. So a VPN stands for a virtual private network and to make a long story short, it protects your data while you're on the internet. I use it on my computer, I use it on my phone, especially when I'm traveling. And now that it's basically summertime, things are opening back up, there's gonna be a lot of that. It isn't limited devices, so you can use it yourself. You can also share it with your partner, your friends, your family. You can actually use the VPN as well to change your geographies. You can use it for shopping in different countries to save money. You can use it to change your location. So if you can't access Disney Plus in your country, you now you will be able to using Surfshark. And using a VPN is so important when using public Wi-Fi networks. Public Wi-Fi networks are everywhere, but they are the number one source of people's data getting stolen. So you'll be able to protect your data from getting stolen, you'll be able to anonymize your data, you'll be able to save money shopping and access more content. There's also a money back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to lose. And right now you can save 83% and get three months free using my code Joel H, and that is at surfshark.deals forward slash Joel H. So act now, protect yourself, protect your data, and now let's get the rest of the video. Hi everyone, so here I with the challenge. It's absolutely massive. So 13 large donuts, and then 13 scoops of delectable ice cream. I got three pebbles, I got uh, cookies and cream, birthday cake, strawberry, peanut butter, apple, everything. So only 30 minutes, this is gonna be quite the challenge, but uh, we'll get started here. Ready to rock? Ready, Ready to rock? Yeah. All right, well let's get started. Let's say the count out. Five, here we go. four, oh, I guess we're going right now. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, thank okay. you for being here, guys. Phenomenal. This is delicious. Look at this cream, look at this donut. This is definitely a challenge to enjoy, and I'm gonna enjoy this. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Screamin' Nuts, guys. Screamin' Nuts! And I will say this challenge was absolutely screaming nuts. What else can I say? So guys, 13 massive, giant, delicious donuts and 13 scoops of ice cream. So I definitely was not picking my donuts for ease or no, I was not picking any flavors for strategy. I was going solely by pure personal interest, desire, and taste preference. That was phenomenal. This is double chocolate one. Very chocolatey. As I mentioned, this was a challenge I wanted to do for a very long time, and I was so excited to finally get to try it. It was a must-do on my list, guys. And it was, I think, just as delicious. Like, these first bites were just as delicious as I ever could have imagined them being. And then underneath, we have a whole bunch of ice cream. The almond joy birthday cake. Cookies and cream. Or no, cookie monster. The quality of the donuts, the flavors of the donuts were really like on point. 
They were absolutely massive, they were light, they were fluffy, yet encapsulating great flavors like the Fruity Pebbles, the chocolate, um, the uh, cookies and cream, the uh, strawberries, like everything. Just the flavors were exceptional. I have nothing but good things to say about the flavors, the textures, and like really good quality and like excellent, excellent donut. I'll try strawberry. I wouldn't taste lava. Very sweet, but very good. When it came to the ice cream, what I thought was really cool is not only did they make it in store, but they actually weighed out the scoops. So, like, the challenge is legitimately about eight and a half pounds or whatever it is. Um, like, there's not that they're, you know, making the scoops way bigger or way smaller. It is like an actual weighed scoop of ice cream. And the other strawberry, too. So I appreciate the authenticity and the accuracy of the uh, weighed ice cream scoops. Um, I don't think I've ever really seen that anywhere else, um, so it just speaks to the accuracy. I think this is called a cinnamon cake. Mm. Oh yeah. You do have to call and give advance notice to try this challenge. Um, partially, like you can kind of reserve donuts, which is cool. So like if you call in the morning um, and you're like, hey, I want to reserve six of those Cookie Monster for my challenge, you'll actually do it. So I thought that was really, really nice then. Every one of these donuts has been phenomenal so far. Because otherwise you're working with what they had in the display case, um, which I mean, depending what time of the day you come, they're you know they're open at some, some something like let's say like 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. So if you I don't know the exact hours, that was just a rough guess. But if you come later in the day, to make a long story short, they're obviously going to have less of a selection than they would in the morning um, as when they make all their donuts. But yeah, again, they make all the donuts fresh, they make the ice cream there, and again, just like super exceptional quality, like really one of those challenges where the flavors, the taste, really blew you away and surprised you pleasantly like a lot exceed your expectation i'm guessing we're about four minutes in but just guessing peanut butter jelly there had not been very many winners at all of this challenge. Um, again, it is quite a sizey, sizable challenge in only 30 minutes. So I definitely think to be able to complete this or at least to, you know, uh, I'll put it, you might have some difficulty if you're just kind of a rookie um, or if you're not familiar with food challenges. Like I said, it's quite monstrous, uh, might quite monstrous, but that being said, it is absolutely delicious. So. I mean, it depends what you're going in for. If you're going in for delicious donuts and delicious ice cream, you'll definitely get your fill. All right. So as you can see, as we're unearthing the ice cream, definitely some big scoops. Try this Cookie Monster donut. Mm. I love the ice cream on it. If you complete the challenge, you get the meal for free. You also get a sweet t-shirt. Um, but yeah, so overall, again, like 30 minutes, it's 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 kind of a shorter time limit in a way, but at the same time, it's donuts and ice cream. Rocky Road. So if you're an intermediate to advanced eater, I think the time limit is reasonable. Uh, but for the average individual, I think it might be a little uh, a little short. Um, and like I said, these donuts, like eating these 13 donuts, I think was probably the equivalent of eating like 24 basic, you know, glazed or average donuts. Apple fresh. That's really good too. That was truly how big these donuts were, how thick they were, at least the ones that I chose. Um, so yeah, I would literally say like the equivalence of two dozen like standard, just generic donuts that you get from Walmart or Krispy Kremes or something. I bet they say. And I'm not even talking the like plain Krispy Kreme original glaze off the hotline. No, no, no. I'm talking like those are really, really light. These donuts were probably like 36 of those. Um, but yeah, no, just like it was a lot of donuts. 
Yeah. It's good, thank you. Enjoying it. A little Cookie Monster ice cream. Very flavorful. So diving into the ice creams, again, very, very flavorful. Um, we pretty much uh, got the ice creams, the challenges out, and pretty much started right away. Um, that was something that the restaurant um, definitely uh, facilitated and insisted on. So we really, like, the ice cream didn't melt at all. It came straight out of the freezer, straight into the pan, basically right on the table. And, uh, like, we started, I think, I think they gave us five minutes. They are like, you have five minutes until we got to start. So very, very, very short time, uh, amount of time that the ice cream sat out. Um, so, you know, just started hammering away for the flavors. I went with a Cookie Monster. I had a salted potato chip. I had a ice cream cake or a birthday cake, um, which was very different. I've never, it, it was kind of like it was full of cream cheese, like a cream cheese icing, which I've never had a birthday cake with cream cheese icing in it. And there was also cake. Um, it, feel, it felt like shredded cake all throughout it. So it really again different textures um i i do, i'm not a big cream cheese taste like person um so i prefer my birthday cake probably without the cream cheese icing in it but if you like that cream cheese icing if you like birthday cake that was a great flavor they also had almond joy which is exceptional i love coconut so this i think is a salted potato chip interesting but with that, everybody, I think that's all the details I have to share with you today. Um, again, a challenge I just really wanted to sit back, enjoy, and that's, I mean, I was very thankful to enjoy it up to this point. Um, I will say it was getting a little difficult, a little, little cold with that ice cream. So uh, I'll let you tune on in. Let's see ultimately what happens. Let me know, guys, what you think. Is this something you would try? And of course, of course, guys, if you had to pick one, are we talking donuts or ice cream? Because I think that is probably the hardest question I would, I, I, I honestly don't, I don't know if I could answer that. If I had a gun to my head, I don't know if I could pick donuts or ice cream. That would be a very hard decision for me. Oh man, that's a really tough one. I don't know. Maybe donuts. Oh, that's so tough though. Anyway, let me know down below guys what you think. Are you team donuts? Are you team ice cream? And be sure to check out the end of the video guys where I literally eat an alligator. Yes, that's right. I get to eat alligator. So check that out and let's enjoy the video. Where the cake? Ooh, very interesting. Very cakey, very rich, almost like cream cheese. This is an almond joy. Tastes like coconut. Probably about 10 and a half minutes in. I'm just judging by my camera. Something chewy in the birthday cake.
exact time I'm guessing is around 13 ish minutes. Very, very, very delicious. That's good, yeah? Yes. Thank you. Awesome. So it's super delicious. Seriously, this place got amazing donuts. Those are absolutely phenomenal. Everyone was just exquisite. Ice cream is really good too. I know they make it all here, so pretty dang cool. Ugh, but yeah, those donuts, woo, definitely would recommend. Was a, that was by far the best cookies and cream donut I've ever had. Usually they're, usually they're kind of like that, but this one was like, oh yeah. The uh, apple crisp one was really, really good too. I also really liked the, what was that one called? I'd have to go look at it, but it was, oh, the peanut butter jelly. That was very, very good as well. And the strawberry ones were good too. They're all basically really, really good. So yeah. That's that, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, stay happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. We do get the meal for free. That was about it. I am definitely don't have to get dessert today because we skipped straight to dessert. But I am going to go try alligator later, so I'm, except, I'm excited for that. But besides that, everybody, just have a happy day. Have a happy life. That's it. Thank you, Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you, Alpharetta. Until next time, everybody, just, 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 just live your life. Love it. And we also got a sweet t-shirt to add to the collection. It says, I'm screaming nuts. That's a, this is a hilarious shirt. I like, what do people say when I wear this in public? I'm just gonna be like, damn, damn bro. So that's super cool. And an extra special thanks to our friend. You'll find her on YouTube, it's real loyal. So she came on out here to support us, not only today, she's also at our other sushi event, and she brought us banana pudding. Yes, she came to deliver us banana pudding. So huge thank you, thank you so much. Much appreciated. Enjoy. We have, uh, she has like a baking, a dessert company she's starting here. So be on the tune for that. It's going to be called? Mr. Eel's Kitchen. Mr. Ale's Kitchen, is that right? Mr. Ale. Mr. Ale's Kitchen. So be sure to check a look on that. I'm sure there'll be some Facebook groups and stuff. Huge thank you, much love here in Atlanta, Georgia. And again, thank you so much, much appreciated. And here we have the beautiful looking banana pudding from Miss Loyal there. So again, thank you so much, much appreciated. All right, guys, this is alligator, fried alligator. I'm gonna try it. I've been trying it, waiting to try it for a long, long time, so here we're finally trying alligator. This is called gumbo, cornbread, and all that good stuff. We're at Henley's, Henry's Louisiana Grill in Ackworth, Georgia. All right, everybody, I'm gonna eat gator. So they gave it with a rem remoulade or whatever sauce, and then a hoisin sauce. Normally, I guess it comes on it, a little bit separate. So I'm gonna dip it in that red remoulade, whatever sauce. Oh, okay. I should have tried it plain first, but I'll try it plain right now. Uh, we have Louisiana gold. I'll take the Louisiana. 
right. I hate to I hate to be that person, but it really tastes like chicken. It's like a very delicious, juicy, almost like popcorn chip. Would recommend. And this rum whatever sauce is spicy but very delicious. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right, click my face, subscribe, guys. It helps me out, it helps you out, then you don't miss an upload, and hopefully I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically pick two videos, yes, that's right, two videos specifically for you, right here. So click a video right now, get that going, and it's gonna end, so click one quick. Let's go, let's go, and have a great day.